It's about that time of day again. Welcome back, guys and gals. JJ here once again, schooltrade.com. Another psychology question of the day. Great question here, and I always appreciate you guys posting those questions in the comment section. Question for today, he says, how do you have so much energy in your videos each day? He says, I have a hard time staying focused when I'm trading. I feel tired at my desk almost all day. And lately, I seem to be taking more losses because of this problem. I don't have any focus. I'm lacking energy. And he asked, do you have any tricks for getting higher levels of energy? Boy, what a great question. You know, and as you know, one of the most common traits among long-term successful traders is they keep their energy levels high so they can perform at their highest level. You know, in today's psychology lesson, I'm going to give you six, six different ways to improve your trading results by increasing your focus and your energy levels. Before we go in though, I do want to remind you, this psychology lesson is the most recent in a series of videos that I publish every week on this YouTube channel. And these videos build on the topics we've already discussed. So this is the first time you're watching these psychology videos. You might want to go back and start from the beginning to get the most value out of these lessons. I'll leave, it, I'll leave a link in the description of the YouTube video. I also want to remind you to make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up on the video if you like it. Share the video with a friend if you think they can benefit as well. And if you really want to stay in tune with what's going on here at School of Trade, make sure you join our mailing list on the homepage of the website over at SidewaysMarkets.com and I'll shoot you an email anytime one of these videos right, gets posted. All right, get that out of the way let's jump into today's in today's lesson one of the most important pieces of a successful trading career is a positive mindset and to achieve that positive mindset we need focus and to maintain that focus we need quite a bit of sustainable energy throughout the trading day when we have high levels of energy we're actively searching for new trading opportunities hunting down reliable entries and exits and correctly managing each position in other words, when our levels of energy are high, we take control of our destiny. We grab the bull by the horns by actively searching for the best opportunities with a positive outlook to the future. The opposite of this level of energy is fatigue. If you've ever suffered from fatigue before, you know that it's almost impossible to stay focused. We become reactive rather than being proactive. We stop hunting down the best opportunities and we take whatever the market gives us. We often make poor decisions and those poor decisions usually result in detrimental losses to our trading account. Even worse, this is the worst part, when we find ourselves exhausted, run down, and fatigued from our trading day, that usually bleeds into our personal lives, which then affects tomorrow's trading day, and we get stuck in this vicious cycle that just breeds horrible results. So how do we avoid this fatigue? How do we increase our levels of energy to stay focused and produce the best results? Here are six ways to increase your levels of energy so you can achieve those lofty trading goals this year. The first step is to get enough quality sleep. Now, sleep, in my opinion, needs to be one of the top priorities if you want higher levels of energy. I'm not talking about the amount of sleep. I'm referring to the quality of sleep. And in my experience, quality of sleep is directly affected by our lifestyle choices. In other words, the activities I do during the day, the food that I eat, and most importantly, how I spend the last few hours of my day is going to directly correlate to the quality of sleep and it's going to directly affect my level of energy the following day. For example, I always make sure I get at least 20 minutes of high intensity exercise each day. I don't consume any stimulants such as caffeine after lunch. I limit the amount of alcohol I drink with dinner. I try to disengage my mind from my trading strategy within two hours before going to bed. That's often the most difficult one. And I turn off all electronics within one hour of hitting the pillow. You know, the biggest impact for me, honestly, was eliminating stimulants in the afternoon. 
And I get it. You know, as a highly motivated as, as a highly motivated individual, it's easy to want to work long hours, and those long hours make it easy to drink too much coffee. But that extra caffeine is going to rob you of that quality sleep you need to be at your best the following day, which results in you being tired. So you need more coffee to stay awake, and you wind up stuck in this cycle, all caused by the stimulants right that we ingest each day. An easy way to kick the caffeine addiction is to set an alarm that rings a little bit earlier each day, slowly cutting back on the caffeine and when you consume it. You know, I remember I used to drink coffee literally until 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I remember making the conscious decision to slowly chip away at the amount of caffeine that I was drinking until I wasn't drinking anything besides fresh water after I ate lunch each day. It's not easy, but it can be done if you make it a priority and it will help your quality of sleep dramatically. So if you're like I used to be and you're drinking coffee until you finish right to the closing bell, why not set a goal this week of stopping an hour earlier? Next week, go one hour earlier, then one hour earlier, and before long, your body will have adjusted this now, so you're only drinking coffee or tea or whatever stimulants you're using right early in your day. Now, let's talk about one of my secret weapons. Let's talk about the power nap. Another way to kick the stimulant habit is to basically sleep when you're tired and it will increase focus and energy along the way and that is take short naps throughout the day right such as after you eat your lunch now i know i used to think that these naps were for lazy people too but it turns out if you can kick the caffeine cycle your body will love a power nap in the middle of the day you'll wake up refreshed re-energized and refocused to finish the rest of your day strong i know it sounds cliche but really the secret is to sleep when you're tired I know it sounds crazy, but it really works. So add a power nap to your day and you'll find it easy to avoid that cup of coffee. And by avoiding that late day cup of coffee, you'll get much better quality of sleep. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, Joe, if I don't drink my afternoon cup of coffee and I'm taking a nap after lunch, I'm going to be napping all day long. How do I solve that problem? Simple with a healthy diet of high performance fuel. Proper nutrition will give your body all the energy it needs to push through a long day at your desk. So get serious about replacing that cup of coffee with some high performance rocket fuel. I would recommend, first of all, make sure you drink lots of fresh water throughout the day, starting right when you wake up. I recommend, right, take one of these big bottles, fill it all with water, and the very first thing I do every morning is I finish one of these bottles of water, right, to make sure I kickstart my system every morning. And start eating real food. If it doesn't grow in the ground, don't put it in your body. And if it comes in a package, learn to read the ingredients on the back, not on the front, and avoid all those hard to pronounce chemicals they use as preservatives, right, which most of our food is preserved with in the United States. Those chemicals, those really long ingredient names, those are not real fuel, right? And they're robbing you of the energy you need the following day. Also, eat a balanced diet of protein, carbohydrates, and lots and lots and lots of healthy fats like avocados, coconut oil. I love MCT oil as well. Also, don't overeat. Keep the portion sizes reasonable, right? You don't want to go dumping a whole bunch of food in your stomach all at once. So break them up, small, reasonable portions a few times a day. And by all means, make sure you avoid sugar. Sugar is the enemy of sustained energy. Sugar and caffeine, they give you a little bit of a spike in energy, but we all know that feeling of the crash on the opposite, on the opposite side. Now, on a personal note, I noticed a tremendous spike in my energy levels when I stopped eating meat a few years ago. Now, my diet today consists of most, mostly vegetables and a little bit of wild-caught fish here and there. And when I do get talked into a hamburger or a filet mignon, right, or a barbecue chicken, I always feel like it weighs me down the next day. 
Now remember, I'm not a doctor, right? And I just know what's worked for me. So make sure you speak to your doctor before you make any drastic changes, right? And if you need any book recommendations, if you need any advice on how to kind of kick out those bad habits, right? Drop me a comment below the video and we can discuss this more in the comment section below this video. Now, another aspect of increased energy is keeping your mind sharp. Now, we're pretty lucky, guys. The financial markets are like brain puzzles. They're always changing. They force us to use critical thinking skills, problem solving, right, et cetera, et cetera. So we definitely have the luxury, right? Depends on, I guess, if your glass is full or half empty, right? I think it's a benefit. We have the benefit of working a job as traders that keeps our brains in top condition. But let's not forget about the effects of drugs and alcohol on our brain function. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to beat this up too much, but I think most of us have seen the negative effects that drugs and alcohol can have on everything in our lives. And as traders, it's easy for uh, the stress of trading, which we call distress, right? And the anxiety, which we've talked about many times before, that stress of trading can easily lead right, to taking shortcuts and trying to use some form of medication, whether it be from a bottle or whether it be from a doctor. The good news is if you follow my advice of getting quality sleep, power naps, and good diet, Keeping your mind in top condition will be a whole lot easier, and you'll find that most pills and powders and, right, and things that come in a bottle, right, you're not going to need them anymore. And if you do find yourself in a position where this is affecting your energy levels, it's time to take a good look in the mirror and decide if you really want to let that get in your way of a successful trading career. You know, it comes down to a simple choice, a choice that I made many years ago. What's more important to me? Right? Is it having an extra beer at night or is it a successful trading career? It's simple as that. The first step is making the conscious decision right, to make that change. Everything afterwards becomes a whole lot easier. And the next step, and one of my most important steps in developing high levels of energy is with exercise. I think we all know this by now, right? Exercise increases levels of energy. It's kind of counterintuitive, right? You would think that physically working your body would make you tired. But reality is investing at least 20 minutes of your day to elevate your heart rate and build lean muscle will produce incredible results for your energy levels far into the future. Getting into a habit and prioritizing your energy right, and, and prioritizing your exercise really is the key to your success. So I would recommend carve out one hour of your day so you can focus on improving your body, whether it's walking, running, yoga, swimming, biking, hiking. It doesn't matter. Just get that heart rate elevated for at least 20 minutes each day. Make it a priority. Just like getting to your desk for the opening bell every morning, make exercise something that you cannot miss. That's critical. If you don't mark this stuff down in your daily calendar, if you don't prioritize physical fitness, you probably won't do it because there's never a shortage of stuff coming into your day. So make it a top priority. Here's something I always tell myself. A body in motion stays in motion. A body at rest stays at rest. That is very simply why it's so hard to get into the routine of being physically active and why it's so easy to keep it going once you've developed the habit. I would also remind you too that social pressure is extremely powerful. So I always recommend an easy way to create a good habit right? Again, prioritize it, but tell your friends, tell people that you don't want to be a fool in front of, right? A week or two when they ask you, so how is your fitness going, right? Use that social pressure to give you a little bit of a kick in the pants, right? When you don't want, right? To finish up your day with some exercise. And last but not least, the last of these six steps to increasing your energy levels is to take what I call strategic breaks from the computer. I've talked about this many times before, but research tells us that small, frequent breaks from our busy lives will make the biggest impact. In other words, rather than taking a big, long vacation once a year, it's much easier and much more effective to take smaller, more frequent vacations every few weeks. 
I would recommend taking at least three to five days off a few every few months of the year, right? I would recommend end of the quarter, right? We're traders, quad witching. You've got your, right, you've got your March, your June, your September, your December. Use those quad witching weeks as a time for you to prioritize taking a break, right, from the desk. Spend time with family and friends. Invest in yourself. Have fun with your hobbies. Travel. Stay home and explore your own hometown. This doesn't need to be expensive. This isn't some laughish, right, vacation. You just need to make it a priority. Do something for yourself with the people you love most that doesn't involve, right, your desk or your computer. In my opinion, we all need to remind ourselves of why we're working so hard every day. You know, I've been in situations many times before when I was a younger trader where I had forgotten why I was working so hard all week long. And a short break to get outdoors or, 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 or experience life around me was all it took, right, to give me that renewed energy, that renewed focus, and the excitement, right, to get back to my desk. So break that cycle of working too much, too long hours. Prioritize your breaks every few months. Spend that time with people you love the most, doing the things you love the most, and you'll have higher energy levels when you get back to your desk. As I've said many times before on these psychology videos, there is no trophy for being a workaholic, right? No matter what our society and our culture on the interwebs want us to believe. Boy, we covered a lot here so far. How about some homework? You know, they don't call me Professor JJ for nothing here at School of Trade. Do you remember that journal you started earlier on this week? Let's break out that journal and let's use it. Starting tomorrow, I want you to earmark one small section of your journal to start tracking your energy levels. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being fatigue, 10 being lots of energy, start making note of how you feel at the beginning and the end of your day. And over time, you'll most likely start to notice that your energy levels at the beginning of your day will first elevate, and then eventually your energy levels at the end of the day will elevate. And I'll tell you what, you're probably going to start seeing your profit and loss statements start to elevate, right, as a result of it as well. Remember, finding trading opportunities when the market is moving is one thing. But having the focus needed to capitalize on those opportunities requires a high level of energy, right? And now you have, right? And now you have a plan to get there. This is especially important for anyone who might not be convinced that high levels of energy or lifestyle choices are important. But once you see that data for yourself, once you've, keep tra once you've kept track of your energy levels for the next few months, you'll see, right? You'll see that when your energy levels are higher, your trading improves as well. And that'll make it a whole lot easier to make the conscious decision, the tough decision, right, to start improving on our lifestyle choices. Boy, we've covered a lot in this psychology video. Let's do a recap, shall we? Today we talked about how our energy levels directly correlate to our ability to achieve our trading goals. When we have energy, we're actively seeking reliable, profitable trading opportunities. When we have energy, we are proactive. When we suffer from fatigue, we become reactive. We become passive and lazy about our trading. We make poor decisions and ultimately rob ourselves from the success that we truly want in the first place. Today, we discussed six different ways to improve our energy levels. We talked about quality of sleep, not just the amount of sleep, but the quality of sleep. And we talked about power naps during the day, diet and nutrition, keeping our minds sharp, the benefits of exercise, and we talked about taking strategic breaks from the computer. Wrapping things up, hope you guys found a ton of value in today's psychology lesson. Do me a favor, drop me a comment below the video. Let me know if there are any other topics you want to see me cover in the next psychology video. Give me a thumbs up if you found value. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And please don't forget to share this video with a friend because it doesn't matter who we are or what type of strategy we use, we can all benefit right from a positive and productive mindset. And don't forget... You can find me every morning, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. I'll be working hard in the trade room with all of our members here at School of Trade. I got a great free trial on the homepage of schooloftrade.com. I send out my nightly newsletter every evening before 8 p.m. Eastern Time on my blog at Sideways Markets. And I am excited to see you guys in just a few days on my next psychology lesson. Guys, my name is Joseph. 
Hope you guys had a great day out there. Enjoy the rest of your week. Be well out there. Be nice with it, will you? And be here next time. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.